showtime. Very much, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. I'm telling you, it's, this is when it begins, when it looks like it's midnight when our vlogs start, but it's really like seven o'clock. <laughs> but it's even later than what we usually start because I got my hair cut. Look at this. You went to public. You can't really tell because it's not done up. I told, I asked the woman not to gel it because I, we knew we were going out and I wanted to wear a hat. My, also, fa my favorite hat. We, you know how on Halloween we we're like searching for pitch black? Now we're on the search for our Thanksgiving slash Christmas drink, which is Miss Twist Cranberry. It's Cranberry Sierra Miss, but they now changed their name, rebranding themselves. We even checked on the Pepsi Cola website and it said that they had it, but they did not. They probably do, they just didn't want to put it out yet. So we'll see, we'll find it. There was two other stores that on the map that said they had it, but they're too far to drive tonight. But we didn't even say we're at the boardwalk. We haven't been here in a while, so we're there's trying. no Christmas decorations though. So far. We're gonna check out Yacht Club and Beach Club, but we came here to check out Christmas. We saw some poinsettias that were out in the boardwalk, and we figured we wanted to try this, so we are gonna try Ample, Ample Hills Creamery. I've told so many people about this place, but I would tell them about it blind, because I've never even tried it. And so many people that we told were like, duh, that's an actual place in New York. So it's supposed to be good. I'm gonna get one of everything. Okay. These are the crazy flavors. I'm not sure which one I want. I'm getting that one. Are you? Yeah. I think I'm gonna get... <gasps> Wait, no, that's got ooey gooey butter cake. Yeah. It's like from St. Louis. So this is the Sally, S Sally Sell She Shells. It's exclusive <laughs> to the Boardwalk Ample Hills. I was gonna get that, because it's exclusive, but it's orange marshmallow. But I think I'm gonna get the ooey gooey butter. butter cake because I went to St. Louis for work when I worked for Marriott and the ladies that I worked with gave me an ooey gooey butter cake before I left. Guys, I'm obsessed with brown sugar. And, and I'm obsessed with butter pecan. If we were sharing, we'd get that. But we're not. So we'll get it next time. First impression? It's delicious. And I love St. Louis gooey gooey cake, cake, whatever it's called. They had a sundae with actual cake in it. Oh, look at that. You guys want to know a secret? Sarah's vlogging right now because she is the biggest mess when it comes to eating desserts, especially chocolatey ones on a cone. Right now she's struggling to keep it clean. <laughs> I have this complex where I like lick my lips after I eat ice cream. This is a bad recipe. So then she looks all chocolatey. Mm -hmm. So this might be an exclusively Peter vlog. Until I get cleaned up. Until Sarah gets cleaned up. Let's go sit on a bench or something. Yeah. Look at these. So first of all, look at the cones. Sarah's got an Oreo cone. And I've got a chocolate chip. They're made of cookies. Did we say I got dark chocolate? Oh yeah, you got dark chocolate. My stomach hurts. Look at the big chunks of ooey gooey cake. If you ever in St. Louis or nobody or ever see anything about St. Louis ooey gooey cake, get it. It's super delicious. But look at these, these, I've never seen cones like this before. It's super... We didn't say how much these cost. Oh, these were both larges at the time that we bought them. Not now, because we ate most of them. But it was, what, 17 bucks for two larges on these cones? And the cones yeah. are a little bit more expensive. And we got large sizes, not not little sizes. Because... Because we love it. Oh my god. What? Is it really good? Mm-hmm. Alright, so we're at the beach club. So there's nothing up, but look, they definitely have an area cleared. Usually the chairs are here. There's usually one table, two, three, table, four chairs. Huh? Yeah, so they're definitely getting ready. I thought they'd be ready now. I thought like the resorts would have to be ready by the time. Epcot Resort. Oh, maybe in their holidays don't start till Sunday. I thought they for sure would be up by the first Magic Kingdom party. Earlier that was not Illuminations, that was Studios. What is it called, Jingle Jim? Jingle Bell, Jingle Jam. Yeah, Jingle Bell, Jingle Jam. Jingle band. I'm so sorry. It's something like we're walking and I was like, that's over here. Yeah. So now we're just gonna go see what movie's playing. No, you did a really good job. What we didn't show was Sarah taking a moment to go walk over to the boardwalk bakery and like clean herself up in, in the bakery. Well, I hope my cone cracked. Her 
cone did crack and it was all over her hands. We're gonna check out the video. I hope it's descended. Scratch that. This is not a moment, it's the movement. We found Christmas at the boardwalk, just a little bit. Do you guys know what sign language this is applause? How it's Mickey Mouse. Sometimes they've got signers in front of the stage show at Disney World and it's amazing. And here's another little bit of Christmas. Yes, we should. We don't have our address. True. We realize that we have yet to come spend some time down by this uh, this here lighthouse. This is actually where the friendship boats are, so you can go to the Boardwalk in Epcot or Swan Dolphin in Hollywood Studios. But this is a fully functional lighthouse. You can walk through. You can just spend time at. You can hop on that boat. You can hop on this boat. You can look for fish in this. It takes two quarters though. This is such a confusing spot. We have a beautiful shot of illuminations. And we can like see the fireworks and think about what part of the music we're at. We've got Jelly Rolls back here with Dueling Pianos playing amazing piano music. And then we've got Atlantic Dance Hall playing some nice DJ club music. It's like a music sensory overload right here. We gotta keep moving. Let us know if you've been to Jelly Rolls before. To be honest, we never have, but we will one day. One day soon, maybe? Maybe for like a, a Christmas tree? Christmas tree? Christmas tree. Sarah. What? We're in the boardwalk lobby. I said I was in here the fire alarm was going. Was I here? Oh, you gave me the yawn. How many other people just yawned right now? Right. Leave a comment down below if you yawned from our yawns. That's our time lapse. You look like Eve right now when she does her two paws. I felt like Eve right then. Wow. Like I was thinking of those. Well, guys, if you didn't know, like this is what we do when we're not in the theme parks or at home or at work like that conversation just now that's why we don't get sick of anything in Disney World because this is just what we do just wait until there's uh, gingerbread it should be over there if I remember correctly if they put in this that would no that was um you're thinking the yacht club is the whole setup over in that corner is usually the the house for here you gave me another yard. <laughs> Look at this view. What, imagine if you just like lived in this building and you walked out to this every day. Get me my car. Jeeves. So I, it's like the Disney version of Eloise. I don't. I've never seen Eloise. No, it's a book. I've never read Eloise. <laughs> it's so funny. That's where Christina got her turtle's name, Skipper D. Oh. There is a movie too, actually, but. I have a question for you, everybody. Me too. Any other enthusiasts? Well, the question is for you, but I know you don't have an answer to it. Okay. Any other camera enthusiasts? If you've used any three-axis gimbals for any camera, but specifically like an, an, a cell phone, um, we're trying to do some research because I think we're going to get one for my birthday. We're finally picking his actual My real-life birthday present. It's not going to be a trip around, a drink around the world. It's not going to be any of the other 700 things we think it's going to be a 3-axis gimbal for cell phones. Uh, I've looked at the Evo, Shift, I've looked at some other ones. So just let us know down below if you, or find us, or message us on Twitter, Instagram, if you know of like any personal experience or preferences or what to avoid, what to expect starting to use it. Because if we get one, which I think we are, because we're really set on it, we'll start recording with our iPhones. Um, because I know that I know a lot of the a lot of them that I've seen will hold like I have the iPhone 7 But Sarah's getting the iPhone 8 first nope. week of December or iPhone 10 X 10 X Matrix The first or second week of December and our friend Tyler has one and it's got a beautiful camera So you'll be seeing some of that, but I really want to get the gimbal to use for it But I'd rather I trust all of your opinions 10 million times more than what you read online because you never know so please let us know down below if you did. 
I realized with the hat on I look quite bald. <laughs> but you will see it all done up tomorrow. I look quite bald too. Let us know in the comments down below what we should do Thursday night when you're watching this. What should we do? If you watch just the first day it goes up, what should we do tonight? Let us know in the comments down below because I don't think we have any plans, right? Nope. And it's like we're in a weird spot where like we're going to have a lot of resorts to visit to see all the Christmas stuff. But not all the resorts are ready. As you saw tonight, Yacht, Beach, and Boardwalk were not ready. But they go big for for Christmas time. I'm almost like anxious that we're not going to have enough time to see everything because we're going to Legoland when they get their Christmas stuff out. I want to go to SeaWorld when they get their Christmas stuff out, but I don't know if that'll happen. Um, we're going to go to all the resorts, all four parks more. We're going back to Chicago for Disney next Springs. week. Disney Springs for their, their Christmas tree lane and their drone show. If they're going to do that again this year. Um, we're going back to Chicago next week for six days. And then we're going back to Chicago again by Christmas. So really we're going to have like less than four weeks between when we get back from Chicago and Christmas. We can do it, right? Yeah. Yeah. We, can just, we just gotta plan it out, I feel. Yeah. And not like do stuff double. Right. But this girl's ready for bed. <whistles> Eve! <whistles> she loves that noise. <gasps> and with that, it's, it's good, good to be home. home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.